Um, so this week I wanted to bring up a topic that in the past week or so I've been thinking about a lot. Um, I read something and it kind of resonated with me. It just, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. And I think it's important because we tend to forget, uh, we tend to forget other people's feelings. And I think we need reminders sometimes about how, like, what, that other people's feelings are valid. And we forget that. Negative, positive feelings, what have you, they're all valid. No one should make another person feel bad or invalidate the other person for having that feeling. For example, one person is gra one woman is graduating either from high school or from college or basically from anywhere. One woman graduating and she's really happy and she's really excited to start her own to start whole next chapter of her life and so she's really elated and she has all these positive feelings now this other woman is really excited to have a baby she's really excited and elated and can't wait to start the next chapter of her life and basically the same feelings that this lady had by graduating this lady has about having a baby and they overlap somehow somewhat but no one can come and say you know what this is more important than this or this is more important than this you can't take away someone's feeling like another example this time I use negative feelings if someone wakes up with someone else that's a bad feeling like feelings well, for the person that's doing the breakup, I don't know if that's that, but for the person that, ha that ha is having the breakup done to them, they're feeling bad, they're feeling sad, they're feeling emotional, they're feeling, they're probably feeling a lot of negative emotions. So, okay, here's the breakup. And on this side, someone lost someone in their life. Or someone that they really admire, that someone died. Now this might be, people might be angry that I'm comparing the two. Notice I didn't compare the action. The actions are not the same at all. But the feelings that people feel, um, they might overlap. They might feel lost. They might feel extremely sad, and no one should invalidate their feelings, saying, "Oh, you shouldn't feel this because someone else, someone else had someone die, so their feelings are valid. Your feelings, because someone broke up with you, are not valid. No one should feel that. We don't have a right to tell anyone, "Oh, your feelings are invalid because." This didn't happen as great as this, or this didn't happen as sad as, or what have you, as this. That's not right. And everyone feels how they feel. Sometimes we forget. It's not anyone's fault. It's just, I think we forget to maybe look at it from another person's point of view. I mean, Look, if someone told you your feelings were invalid, you wouldn't like it at all. If someone told you, like, oh, it just ignore that feeling. Like, that's not, your feelings aren't important. Only my feelings aren't important. No one would like that. I think it's just human nature that we forget that other people's feelings are valid. It's just what that feeling at what they're feeling at the moment. The sphere of con the sphere of feelingness is feeling that way. We have to remember to be conscious 
of the fact that they do feel that way. And to them, it's not stupid. It's not silly. I even forget too. So if I forget, I know other people forget about other people's feelings. And so this is a reminder video to me too. Before I judge them, before I say, you know what, that's a stupid feeling that you're feeling. You shouldn't be feeling that feeling. Just to stop and take a step back and say, you know what, maybe there is some, something there. Like your feelings are valid and I'm going to try to try to notice that. Thank you for listening and hopefully this video will serve as a reminder for just remembering people's feelings. Anyway, I will see you next week. Bye.